Hi, I'm Bill Wood, Douglas County Extension Agent located in Lawrence, Kansas. I and a couple of my friends would like to share with you about Project Good Neighbor, a program designed to help educate people about pesticide use and the drift that might come from it. Project Good Neighbor started in Douglas County in 2003 and has now been adopted statewide through the Department of Agriculture. As you can see from this sign, Project Good Neighbor's goals are to help educate people about pesticide use and being responsible with it, protecting sensitive crops from herbicide drift. Grapes, tomatoes, walnut trees, soybeans, and many other horticulture crops are very sensitive to 2,4-D and hormone type herbicides. If you choose to use a pesticide on your property, you are fully responsible to read and follow all the labels and are liable if there's any drift that leaves your property and damages a neighbor's crop. We planted our grape vineyard in 2007 and experienced our first 2,4-D damage in the early spring of 2008. It injured or completely destroyed a third of our vineyard, which is planted to Cynthiana, Traminet, and Steuben varietals. This cost thousands of dollars and a couple of years of growing time, and I'd like to show you what the 2,4-D damage looks like. These are leaves that show the effects of 2,4-D. As you'll see, they are distorted. Uh, they have the deep uh, orange veins running through them, and they look nothing like uh, the healthy growing leaves next to them. I have visited with my neighbors. I have registered my vineyard with the state of Kansas and our Douglas County Noxious Weed Department. And I've also put up the Project Good Neighbor signs. I appreciate living in the country and I want to be a good neighbor. Yet someone was careless on this one day this spring and as a result it will cost a great deal of money and time in loss to our vineyard. A State Board of Agriculture representative has visited my vineyard to assess the damage and is trying to locate and educate the person responsible. I'm on the Lawrence Douglas County Planning Commission Agritourism Committee and one of our goals is to help landowners find ways to increase their income. Grapes and other horticultural products are one way that some people may be able to meet this goal. But to do that, pesticide drift simply has to be brought under control in Douglas County. We planted grapes 20 years ago in 1990 and we've had problems with 2,4-D for some 20 years. At first I didn't know what it was, damaging the grapes, but then I started to investigate. With the help of the Kansas Department of Agriculture, K-State, Douglas County Extension, we started a program where we want to help other people learn how to use uh, pesticides responsibly, uh, specifically for us as the 2,4-D hormonal esters. If you use 2,4-D or other hormonal type esters on your yard, pastures, or field, Please consider using them when the, it's less likely to cause damage from drift. Here in Douglas County, I think 2,4-D should be stopped at April 15th and or when temperatures reach 80, 85 degrees, especially when it's windy. You can start using them again in the fall about mid-October. 2,4-D sprayed in the fall has the best results and you get almost 100% kill. The nutrients in the plant are going into the roots so you actually get a root kill. In the spring you might melt down the weeds but it will most likely in a couple weeks start growing again. So you're wasting your time, your money, and our livelihood and our crops. I hope you have a better understanding about Project Good Neighbor and its goals of being a good neighbor. For more information, you can go to the State Board of Ag's website, ksda.gov, click on Pesticides and Fertilizers, and then click on Sensible Crops. There you will find a list of hormone type herbicides, and also a list of people registered who grow sensitive crops, that, so that you can tell if some of your neighbors might be those people. Douglas County Extension also has a website, douglas.ksu.edu where you can find a little publication called The Rookie's Guide to Responsible 
and sensible herbicide use. In it, there is a list of eight ways to help reduce drift, as well as many other useful tidbits. I hope you've uh, learned quite a bit about Project Good Neighbor and will want to put into practice the age-old golden rule of do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. That all helps us be good neighbors.